So many of you watching this video might know that there are four selective schools in Victoria and that you have to go to an entrance exam to get into these schools. The schools are Melbourne High School, McRobertson Girls High School, Nozzle High School and Suzanne Corey High School. I recently took the test and got an offer at one of these schools with all superiors, so I decided to make a video on tips and tricks. Timestamps will be below in the description so that you can skip through the video and I hope you find this helpful. The first test of the day is verbal reason. It was not easy but it was not extremely difficult either. You get 60 questions to complete in 30 minutes, giving you about 30 seconds for each question. This test challenges your logical reasoning, word relationships, and vocabulary. There are all kinds of questions from anagrams to antonyms and even quite a few worded problems. The next test was numerical reasoning, where you get 30 minutes to answer 50 questions. This test was quite difficult as it had some very confusing puzzles and patterns. Other types of questions in the test were some very time-consuming worded problems, which took about 50% of the whole test. This makes it extremely tough to complete all 50 questions in the test. There is usually a break and then a reading comprehension test. This was by far the easiest of them all. There are again 50 questions with a 30 minute time limit, approximately 60% of the test was actual reading comprehension and then the rest was punctuation, grammar, and proverb questions. There are about 4 moderately long texts and 2 cartoons. The last test is the hardest, math. Comprising 60 questions with a 30 minute time limit, the test includes questions from year 9, 10, and even 11. Approximately, the first 55% of the test is year 9 and the rest is year 10 and 11. There are questions that range from probability to advanced linear equations and even circle theorems. This makes it nearly impossible to complete the actual test. So I can't really say much about writing since we didn't have it this year because of COVID. From what I know, the test is 30 minutes of writing time and 5 minutes of planning time and you get a either a creative or a persuasive piece to complete which you will find out on the actual day of the test. The best way is just to make sure you have practice in both. Some tips and tricks that I have. One, for verbal reasoning, definitely practice your vocabulary. Use websites such as vocabulary.com and also read books. This is very helpful. Read books like Harry Potter, and this will definitely boost your vocabulary. For mathematics, the best thing is to just grab a year 10 textbook or a year 9 one and go through every single topic in the book until you're sure that you've mastered at least the basic parts of it. Another great option is to purchase a mock exam to just practice since tests like verbal reasoning and numerical can all only be done in these and there's nothing you can actually do to study that. One more skill you need for this is time management, which you should definitely practice this as this is very important since students tend to lose their time in the test and but before they know it, the test is already over and they've only been halfway through. The last thing is to plan your entire test out. So like I said, in reading comprehension, there were four long texts and two cartoons. So you could just split the time between them and then save some for the rest. Same with mathematics and numerical and verbal. The biggest thing of them all is to practice. I cannot stress this enough. Just practice and practice. One great website that I used was Atonot where it's like a forum and people write down their past experiences, which I really used and I even found a really great guide from there, which I which really helped me a lot. I'll put the link in the description and you can you should definitely go and check it out. These are all really great strategies to help you on the selective entry exam. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe.